We have a big ongoing project with the largest egg manufacturer in the Northern Europe called Balticovo. Together with them, we managed to understand that there are four most important parameters which are directly related to the business parameters of egg industry. These four parameters are temperature, relative humidity, CO2 concentration and ammonia concentration. Why? Like for us, for humans, the temperature and the relative humidity are the main parameters which uh, are directly uh, related to our physiology and the uh, mood and everything, our productivity. The same statement is correct for the egg-lying hens and I guess also for the broilers in the poultry industry. CO2 concentration. Also, birds can withstand much higher CO2 or carbon dioxide levels, but still there are limits and CO2 concentration is a very good indicator of the ventilation system of the barn. Ammonia is the most challenging part from the design point of view because it's not only important to be able to measure ammonia concentration, but ammonia together with the relative humidity makes very, very chemically harsh conditions, very corrosive environment, which is a challenge from the design point of view because you have to seal all the electronic components so that they are not influenced and that they are not corroding during the measurement process. It is well known that even low ammonia levels, say 20 or 25 ppm, can be um, very disastrous for the, for the business because uh, ammonia influences uh, the respiratory system of the, of the hens. The quality of meat goes down and also because of a high ammonia concentration, the productivity of, of eggs goes down, which means that you have to feed them much more to maintain the same productivity level, which of course is a drawback from the business point of view. In order to address these problems, we designed a small line of sensors which are suitable for the poultry industry. And I'll try to explain shortly uh, what are the main benefits of those sensors. The simplest one is temperature sensor. It measures temperature, it sends the data via uh, radio away. But the important feature is that the casing is very robust. It has an ingress protection class IP68. This is good in our opinion. Measurement of relative humidity is more challenging because typically uh, relative humidity sensors, they are not resistant to uh, chemical contamination, which is a priori present in the bird barns because and the main contaminant is, is ammonia, of course. The most of the sensors are drifting in time. So our sensor is specifically selected to address this problem, to be stable in the ammonia atmosphere. And you have a relative humidity sensor, which can be used in ammonia atmosphere. The next one is CO2 sensor. The main feature is that it uses a non-dispersive infrared sensor in it, which basically it means it is a spectrometer with all the consequences and benefits. So it is very um, sensitive uh, to the CO2, but not sensitive to other gases, completely no cross-contamination uh, cross effect. And it, it has wide range and also acceptable accuracy. And the last one is ammonia or NH3 sensor. It's electrochemical one. And the main feature is that we put a lot of efforts into it in order to compensate for the temperature and the relative humidity effects. Using these RNET sensors, we managed to do installation of almost 200 sensors in less than two days in the real egg industry barn first results are very promising because we already managed to find the most effective, so to speak, spots, the most problematic spots of the barn, of the climate of hens. And our partner, they are already trying to optimize ventilation system in order to improve their parameters. We are continuing work uh, on our uh, poultry sensor line. And currently in the pipeline, we have CO or carbon monoxide sensor and also hydrogen sulfide sensor which also are important contamination gases in the bird industry. Mums ir ļoti svarīgi rūpēties pa vistu veselību un pa vistu labturību un labotību, jo vistām ir ārkārtīgi svarīgs svaigais gaiss, 
uz kābekļu piekļuve. Mums ir svarīgi, ka arī mēs varam ne tikai mērīt kaut kādās konkrētās vietās, kur var pievilkt vadus vai, vai, vai internetu, bet sensors var izvietot visnērtākajās vietās, kur, kur ikdienā iespējams varētu citus sensors nebūt tik viegli pievienot. Protams, ka mēs sagaidām rezultātus un pozitīvus rezultātus un arī finansiāls, jo, jo mēs labāk izturamies pret putniem, jo nodrošinam viņiem labāku kvalitāti un vidi, jo viņus mums dod vairāk oliņas, jo, jo dējība ir lielākais un visprecīzākais vistu labbūtības rādītājs. Tā kā uz to mēs arī ceram un sagaidām. We are in the initial stage of our collaboration project with Baltic Ovo. The results are promising and we believe that we will manage to provide guidelines which will allow our partners to significantly improve the parameters which are important in their business.